the one kind of book that I would never read is a self-help book. The book Never Finished by David Goggins has the initial prologue where there's, I think, a page of it. I do not know because I listened to the book on Audible, which is a pro tip. I paid $0 for it. You can go to Audible and one book is free and you can get Never Finished and listen to it 100% for free. I listened to it. It was done in 10 hours. And I did not sit down 10 hours to listen to it. You can just do it while running, walking, making your food or going to gym. Hopefully you do at least one of those. So I listened to it for free, but I listened to it full. And like I was saying uh, in the prologue itself, it is very heavily emphasized that this is not a self-help book. Now, I do not know if it is not a self-help book, then what kind of book it is, because it is not a story with a beginning and an end. It is containing a lot of experiences in the words of David Goggins, mostly David Goggins writing as a narrator. There are not a lot of dialogue exchanges. In a storybook, there will be lines and lines of dialogues, right? So it's definitely not a fictitious novel. Or, or an autobiography. I think that's what it would be in the category of them. An autobiography, <laughs> tongue twisting. An autobiography, right? Because all he's doing is what happened to him uh, line by line, scene by scene. So if it is not a self-help book, then it is an autobiography. Let's see, actually you can you can know the genre of the book just by typing genre never finished. What's that? Yeah. Oh, shit. I was right on point. It said it said autobiography. Yeah. I guess that's what you would say. The one thing, we'll start with the heavy ones, the ones I did not like so that we get that out of the way and uh, you understand what you can expect out of this. What I personally could not find are methods and ways to lead my life better. Like, what should I do every day that will help me uh, to live a more successful life? And that's what you would expect out of a self-help book and not out of an autobiography. So now I understand for better reasons uh, why I did not find those and found those and I should not have expected that. Uh, But most people look at books like Never Finished or even his uh, first book, Can't Hurt Me, thinking that it's a self-help book it is going to be a motivational book right but mostly what it is it is motivational especially that part when his mom comes in and uh, talks about her experiences you understand how lucky and fortunate you are and especially when david goggins talks about his own own past and him going and meeting his father those things are really really motivational uh, but he does not really emphasize much on what you should be doing or 10 things you should be doing. But I think he leads by example. And mostly what he has talked about is the injuries that he has been through, how hard he has pushed through in a lot of his races, uh, which kinds of makes you understand one thing, which is like embedded in David Gargan's philosophy, that is most people quit in 40%. And makes you understand that we don't even know the limits of our body. And that brings me to the point, a smooth transition. This book is fantastic for athletes. Because you, if you are an athlete, you are going to be relating with it a lot more. Because that's what you are directly doing, pushing your body. So that's one thing. Actually, you are pushing yourself even if you are trying to become a scientist but the thing is that athletes would be able to relate with it in a better manner see don't get me wrong at the end of the day the bottom line is that you should get this book you should go through it at least get a free one on audible and listen to it Uh, but one thing a good part about this book are the podcast segments so if you did not know that in the audio version Uh, There will be a lot of podcast segments after every chapter. uh, The writer, uh, no, the the narrator in the Audible book is going to interview David Goggins. And that gives a good touch. Matter of fact, I enjoy listening to the podcast 
much more uh, than compared to the the narrator the the one limitation of this book's narration is again like no matter how good uh, the other guy is no matter how good he is he's definitely good but you would still at the end of the day want david goggins to be speaking and narrating if you are reading a book written by joe rogan if you go to audible you want joe rogan's voice that's what i would be expecting so that's one uh, limitation but ultimately this book is great if you want some real motivation not one of those is just shouting on you but the motivation overhead does not come from the words but from the experiences of what he has been through what he his mother has been through and how they push through it so it's a good book it's a good book that's what i would end this with